here we go. A lot of fans had their sights set on this particular matchup, and I think a lot of the Brazilian jiu-jitsu community really curious to see if this guy can make a run at a UFC world title. He excites them because he's a guy that has come to the UFC with that background and has excelled. He's getting better every single time he steps into the octagon. And you know what? He's a guy that specializes in grappling. So when you're on the ground, you're in trouble. He knows that. He's comfortable there. He recognizes that if he can get you to the floor, you are in a heap of trouble. Let's see how he plans to do that tonight. And he certainly was quick to acknowledge all the power and the skill on the other side, but this man has a composure and a maturity that belies his years, and, and we are excited to see him compete in a big setting here tonight. have come out to see this man throw hands here tonight. You can argue he has some of the best boxing in this division. But fighters are a sensitive lot. It's like every time we put over his hands, he feels like we're saying out of the other side of our mouth that he's not well-rounded. That's not the case. No, we're not calling him limited at all. We're not saying this guy can't do everything. But it, what pops on the page is his hands, his hand speed, his power in his hands, his ability to set up his hands through his feints and his movements. He can do so many good things in the boxing realm that you lock in on that thing. But make no mistake about it, this guy is very well-rounded. But ultimately, it will be his boxing yeah. that will allow for him to be successful. And defensively, certainly he's not going to be confused with Pernell Whitaker, but he moves his head very well, manages distance exceedingly well. Sweet P. And stylistically, oh, sweet P. Sweet P was so good. All time. for this, our main event of the evening. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Daniel Darius. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Daniel the Hangman Hooker. One of the best in the business, Herb fight. Dean, is our referee Ready. tonight. All right, so here is the two-division contender, Dan Hooker, now back in the lightweight division where he has realized a whole lot of success. This man has headlined for the UFC before. He has been in some absolute wars. Tonight, though, not looking to end up in the hospital. He wants to be more of a technician on the feet. He has worked very hard with Eugene Behrman and all of his training partners at City Kickboxing. They want a clean technical effort here tonight, and candidly, they believe they have the right opponent to produce that result. with the straight left hand. Hooker gets caught by the inside leg. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Oh, you talk about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Oh. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Massive shot from the top. Oh, big elbow. 
man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, he got to his spot. He Bottom needs fighter to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Big ground and pound. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Daryush. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. That was nice. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Ooh, gotta be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Snapped off the jab nicely there. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Oh, the straight hand lands flush to the body. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. This guy is so aware, he never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting to them. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. All right, rubber guard for him now, DC. We haven't seen you lean on this knee. No, I, I can't get those legs up there. Come on, man, look at these tree trunks. They don't go up around nobody's shoulders. I like to keep my feet on the ground, and I like to grind. That's what I'm known for. But this guy has that dexterity. He has that ability to throw up the rubber guard, to be able to threaten from a position where his opponent was trying to find safety. There are many, many attacks here. Let's see which one he chooses to go after. Now he's going full mount. Great defense by this fighter. Hooker's in half guard now. Posture and elbow. Posture and elbow. Change of the position. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Daryush. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Making all these shots count. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Oh. 
Huh. Round three next. All right, buddy, take a seat. Deep breath, man. Breathe. All right, let's get him some water. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, you're doing absolutely awesome. All right, a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes, DC, and big part of the narrative, those knee strikes. Those knee strikes landed, and they landed and did a ton of damage. You can see his opponent slowing down because he's taking so many of those knee strikes to the body. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. doesn't get finished. He passes to half guard. Oh, this is where you don't want to be there. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Hooker. Oh, nice. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. This is where he wants to be. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Darius is trying to get a triangle submission here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Armbar. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Good work from the top here by Hooker. And another one, another strike from the top, lands for him. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Good series of elbows by him there. It's almost like he's ambidextrous when it comes to throwing these elbows. There is no strike in fighting that can really damage your opponent as much as an elbow. He understands that. He's throwing them over and over again. Darius is back in full guard now. All right, so the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm going to get to a dominant position myself. All right, man, you lost that last round. You didn't look good at all. All right, you worked way too hard. You want this way more than he does. All right? You need to regroup and we'll help All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive Great into his fight. opponent, and Great. secure takedown after takedown. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Lead left by Daryush. Lands a kick to the body. Establishing the jab. Oh, nice. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean, kicks. What a masterful 
show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Yep, got to be very careful there. Hooker's in half goal. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the mountain, just go for the finish. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. Oh, he's getting it deep. Struggling to finish. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Well, you don't blame him for continuing to badger that cut. Things are getting bloody, champ. Yeah, you got to be careful now because as it bleeds, you got to worry about the blood going into the eye. Now it's time to start being on high alert. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Hooker. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Dariush is in half goal. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did it. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. Stop, stop, stop. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in the submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. It is the fifth and final round. Kick checked effectively there by Hooker. Those hands go. Beautiful leg kick lands. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Oh man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. Oh, he's got his back. Hooker getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. This is a terrible position. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. 
Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, man, another strike gets through, and now things are critical. We got a lot of blood, folks. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Daryush. In the half guard. Side control now. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Daryush. Another ground and pound strike gets home. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Daryush is back in full mount. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. Official ladies decision and gentlemen, now in after the five buffet. rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Benil Daru. All right, so clearly some disappointment on the face of the boxer there, and perhaps he'll draw a striker next. But the story tonight, the BJJ player getting it done on the scorecards and turning in what you could argue is his best performance in the UFC today. I, I agree with you. I agree that this was the best that we've ever seen him look. But it was all rooted in the matchup. He knew that there was a clear path to victory, and he stayed down that path until he got his hand raised.